This is like, being recorded. Up over 48 hours doing what? Getting orders out. And I want you all to give her a round of applause because she is the hardest working CEO I know. Melissa, where are you? Okay, guys, they can't be sleeping. Well, she is sleep. She deserves it. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. You know what, guys? I'm not going to even try to find her. I'm not going to even try to talk through this call. I'm going to call on my trusted definition of leader. Uh, uh, servant leader is right next to her name in the uh, dictionary. Dr. Ross, I need to call on you. I need you to head up this call. I can hardly hold my eyes open. And if I say a whole lot, it's not going to make much sense. So I promise you, Melissa will be on. I'm going to call her, but I don't even want to disturb her, guys. Because like I said, she has been up straight 48 hours without any break, without any sleep, and going strong, along with Christian Phillips, our COO. And I think both of them, I think we left them maybe an hour and a half ago. Dr. Betty, I thank you. Uh, but Dr. Arise, please take this call over. All right, my, my, my woman, I tell you, I just am just elated when we think about the kind of leadership that we have. That, that ought to make you proud because, um, just knowing dedication, just knowing determination, just making sure that things are going to go correctly, making sure things are going to happen. And so if there's no other reason that we should be proud to be a part of this nation, it's because of the leadership. See, whenever you're looking at a company, and there may be many of you that are on here for the very first time, or you're brand new to Wakana, well, let me tell you something. One of, the, one of the most important things is who's at the head. And not only who's there, but where's their heart. And the heart of our leadership, as, as you've been hearing Phyllis say, I mean, because of the dedication and the determination that they have to make this company become what it's destined to become. It's our destiny to be a multi-billion dollar company. But oftentimes, the people who are in the glass ceiling, in the ivory towers, they have no clue what's going on on the ground. And we're so privileged and so blessed to have the kind of leadership. They're right here on the ground, in the trenches with us. See, that's the kind of people I don't mind following. When you're in the trenches with me, I can go because I know you're going to be there right there by my side. I can go. We can fight together. And so I really want to encourage everybody this morning. This is going to be a great week. December the 12th. I mean, we're almost halfway into the month of December and we still are having so many things in place, rebranding, getting ready to take place. Listen, if you're not excited about the destiny of Wakana, whether you just got here yesterday or you've been here since the day we started, regardless of what that is. And I believe that some of you need to reach back and tell some folks, hey, we're moving and grooving. We're moving into some new places, into some new states, into some new status. I'm hearing other states come on board that I've never heard before. And that's that's exciting. That's amazing. So listen, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you don't want to miss what's going on. And um, I tell you what, my brother is here and he just reached out to me and to help us share some more things that are going on. Uh, Jarvis? Unmute yourself, man, and and you share because this is this is a brand new brother, and and he's experienced in this network marketing arena, and when he saw what we're doing here, see, it's one thing for a person like me, you know, I, I have been exposed to so many different companies, but I never worked any of them. I never, I can't say they didn't work. I did not work them because one, 
I didn't totally believe in him. To mm, uh, the leadership, you know, it was kind of iffy and it wasn't my people. <laughs> okay, it wasn't my people. So I was really looking for something that we could put ourselves in and really move forward. So Jarvis, if you are out there, uh, unmute yourself, hit star star twice. And you can unmute yourself because I don't know if I see your Dr. name. Dr. Ross, I see Melissa. Okay. Hey, Jarvis, I, I'm, I'm Hello. not. We love you, but I see Melissa out here. Melissa, Melissa. Hi, Teresa <laughs> Russian is here. Hey, Philip, we're here. Okay. Girl, it's been I, exciting. I've been on for, we got on about a minute later. So, but yeah, just, um, you know, thank you, Dr. Roz. I mean, just always for what you do. I mean, just the words that you shared. I mean, I'm just in awe. I mean, we have such a phenomenal team. We have such a phenomenal corporate staff. I mean, even just with Christian, you know, being here serving in his role and his capacity, it's just his spirit. You know, a lot of times you guys have seen me and Phyllis up close and personal, but, you know, Chris is, Christian is there in Atlanta, but just from the beginning, I knew he was the person to really help us with our operations, to really help us take it to that next level. And you guys just have to know, I mean, the heart that he has, the compassion, the caring, and then just his team, you know. I mean, Tara, you know, she's been there really helping us hold so much down. Um, I know we had some, you know, great things that happened. Some of our folks moved on to other departments, but just seeing her dedication, her passion, really helping us pull through these crazy months. Because let me tell you something, guys, you know, we knew that this was going to be an awesome month. I mean, everyone was so excited for, you know, this month to happen in, in November. But what was really exciting, it far succeeded all of our wildest expectations. It was just that amazing. And it's because of each and every one of you. I mean, we talk about these record numbers and I know the team, Christian, they were all just gearing up. I mean, they literally started preparing, you know, way back, you know, early in July is when we first started. But then when we look at the records that were set that day, I mean, we're talking about there were times when you can look back at the numbers and actually see more revenue, okay? More revenue than sometimes we've seen in an entire month, okay? I mean, that is just telling us where we're about to go and just really helping us understand the magnitude and the impact that this movement is having and the caliber of people we're tra attracting from all across the country, guys. And so just know that this team is ready. This team is prepared. This team is excited, okay, about even some things that are happening um, as it relates to some of the forward thinking that we're doing with the expansion coming. I mean, we see Akana as the vehicle that's going to take all of this and really explode, you know, the brand. Many of you are going to just see so many things happen, but we want to be that company that, again, you know, that's not just reactive, but really proactive that's really looking into the future seeing where we're at but more importantly where are we going okay and we see i mean this company going into so much momentum each and every one of you over the next few months and so we want to make sure from an operational standpoint you know from a marketing standpoint from a sales standpoint you know we are prepared for it okay and so just assembling such an amazing team and just a, a great group of even consultants that really are there beside us to help us to ensure that as we are doing this, we're prepared for the scale, okay? Because you might think, okay, wow, they did over a million dollars. It seems like orders slowed down, things are harder to get out. And we know that companies all across the country right now, you know, are experiencing some of the, the surges from Black Friday. But at the end of the day, what to me is, is so exciting is knowing that we have a team that not only is prepared for what's happening, but even excited for the growth and the super growth that's actually starting to happen already, the growth that we see coming and really making decisions that's gonna carry us forward in the long run, okay? And so I'm gonna bring Christian up. He's gonna share just a little bit today, just because I want you guys to hear and feel the heart of this young man, okay? Cause he is a millennial, okay? He's someone who we've admired him, you know, since we first met him, I mean, in his early teens, he was there for us, you know, fixing websites. I mean, already this young, you know, entrepreneur, okay, at the age of 13. And just when we had a chance to reconnect, I mean, we're talking about less than 
just over a year ago. And to see where we're at today and to see what he's put together, the infrastructure that he's put together, the systems, the processes, and so many things to take us to the next level. And so when we made a decision, we said, this is kind of like a lock-in, okay? We're going to kind of lock ourselves in. We're going to be here. And whoever wants to come through. And there were so many people that just came through and some people gave their time, some gave their encouragement, some said, hey, here's some food, whatever. It was just amazing to see so many of our distributors, to see so many of our corporate staff just say, hey, we're going to be there because we want to ensure that we do whatever it takes to take this company to that next level. So I just want to thank, 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 thank everyone, okay? And again, you know, once we put something in, in motion, you know, you set the intention. And so we set the intention to say, you know, we could have dragged this out for a week. We could have done things every day. But we know that when you set an intention, there's something so powerful about that. And so we set an intention to say, listen, you know, this weekend, okay, we're going to make some things happen collectively with the power of the group, with the power of the team. And that's what happened, because just to give you some, some stats, okay, I mean, we're talking about typically when it comes to getting orders out, I mean, you might see about 500 orders go through, through the company um, um, back office, where then all of a sudden, over the course of a week or two, those orders might get out. Well, let me tell you some of the folks, that was what the team accomplished, okay, in the last 48 hours, a record-breaking number of products leaving this facility, folks. We're talking about over 500 plus additional orders that got processed just this weekend, okay? So many of your customers who might have ordered their packs of gummies or their pain cream, or perhaps your new founding members, okay? They can actually now see that they're, they've got tracking numbers and their orders are moving along. In fact, tonight, you know, the team was getting some rest because guess what's gonna happen? Tonight, we're gonna do it one more time, okay? One more time for those who might say, hey, I wanna pitch in. Because when I looked at it, we, we, we calculated it. We decided to call it Project 1000 because if everybody came in and gave maybe one hour here, 10 hours there collectively, we would get that 1,000 hours that we needed to really accomplish this objective. And I want to thank Phyllis Nash, because let me tell you something, folks. She decided, hey, whatever it took, and she was there. She's talking about us being there. I mean, her and Sylvia, we're talking about leaving in the wee hours of the morning, even though Sylvia had to be on the line to answer customer service today. It didn't stop her from being at the office last night a part of this amazing lock-in. I mean, again, I can't thank so many people like Tracy, you know, Bolton. Oh, my goodness, Tracy, thank you so much. Our warehouse. I mean, she held it down in our warehouse department. And then, again, just such a tremendous group of volunteers from Dr. Betty and Chris, who they are always there with us, no matter what we do, always ready to help roll up their sleeves and just get things done. I mean, we had some new volunteers, okay, Teresa Shern. I mean, oh, my goodness, she came all the way from a part of the Chicago Heights area. I'm a part of that dynamic Cherie Effinger's team who just crossed over to Ruby. And then, of course, Francine Perkins-Smith, she came through. That was just amazing seeing you there helping us get these orders out. And Dorothy Ellis, oh my goodness, she was our reindeer, okay? She came early morning the other day, um, along with some of other of our staff, and they got out so many orders. In fact, they, they almost shut the post office down. It was just that many orders that they were getting processed, guys. So you can start to see the vision, right, of this team that came together, that decided, hey, guess what? We're gonna get these orders out. See, no one person, can do anything by themselves. It takes the power of a team. And speaking of team, you know, I want to go ahead and just let you guys hear from someone who I'm so proud of. I mean, we're talking about a young man who literally just, you know, turned 30, okay? And he's doing these big things, not just for us, but he's done them for other companies. And we're just proud to have him serve as our chief operating officer he made an executive decision to be here to join this lock-in and if you've been by the Akana and Wakana headquarters you've probably seen some of our new accommodations 
Well, he's had a chance to test out those accommodations. And so, Christian Phillips, we are here on the call. Why don't you just share a little bit about, you know, what's going on with the team? You know, we've given them some updates with these orders and just anything that you want to share that's on your heart this morning. So I'll let you take it away for a minute or so. Good morning, good morning, good morning, um, everyone. Um, yes, um, we are still here um, at headquarters as of right now. Um, some of you have been here. Um, some of you have not. Um, but however, you know, no matter where you are within this organization, um, you know, if whether you're just now being exposed to Wakana or if you are, you know, you've, you've known about Wakana for a while, but you just have not yet moved. Um, within Wakana, you know, I challenge you, you know, you have great people that are supporting you. You have people that actually care about, you know, what the next move is. They care about everything, all the pieces that go into formulating product, all the pieces that go into creating that customer service experience, guys. And when you have someone doing that, and I know we have some, here we have some feedback, please mute yourself out. Um, with With knowing those particular people, and having those particular people in your arena, guys, you have no choice <laughs> but to win. And I encourage you guys in all that you are doing, you know, we're here, we're at, we're at the, like I said, at the headquarters, and, you know, we literally did a 48-hour lock-in to make sure that all of the products, or the majority of the products, actually were either handled or are in process at this point guys so we have listened to you we have heard your concerns we have we, we stand by you and we're doing what is right of course and we're making sure that all that black friday and all of that cyber monday activity um has been starting to get circulated if it had not been already but needless to say um great things are happening great things will continue to happen and um and, and i challenge all of you all to continue to do the work and um, I appreciate each and every one of you. If I've met you in person, if I have not, you know, I, I wish you all the best. And um, I, I, I will see everyone at the tip top at the very top. And here's Melissa. All right. And yes, that's the tip top. Okay. That was awesome. And as he was sharing, you know, just again, Christian, thank you for what you do. Today's his day, guys. We're going to make sure we do something really special for Christian. Um, I know he's been dreaming of some certain food, so I don't know if it's going to be food, Christian. We're going to figure it out, but I say we owe you, so we thank you, and we appreciate you. And as he was speaking, too, I was thinking of people like Terry Anderson, Meridian Brown. I mean, so many people came through, guys. Just know that if you came through and helped in any capacity, we thank you, even if you didn't make it through. I know some of you have been trying to get over. I know Danae Williams, you finally got over, dear. Thank you so much if you're out there. And so many, again, I always say when I call names because you always forget somebody, but just know that it was just a, a truly, you know, remarkable weekend. It was such a team effort and just so grateful to see our team rise to the occasion. Gail King, one of our corporate staff, she came in to, to dig in over the weekend too. So she's going to be here throughout the week. You, you, many of you know her, but she also wanted to ensure she did her part to do whatever it took to take those orders to the next level. Tara, we're going to see you in a second. So, um, well, I don't know about that, Christian. We, we might see you in a second, Tara. <laughs> it depends on what, what's next on the list. But again, just want to share our love and gratitude for each and every one of you, our deep, sincere appreciation. You know, speaking of the next step of, as far as what's happening here with Akana and soon to be Akana, also, too, guys, I want you to make sure you mark your calendar because April, it is just super exciting when we hear that we're having our first live conference, guys. Can you imagine we are where we're at today and we've been doing, you know, all the conferences virtually, okay? And so just know that any company we've ever built, massive momentum, it's been through the power of events. And this is going to be our first big conference ever. In fact, next Monday, the tickets are actually going to go live, so you want to make sure you tune in to get the details because we will have some early bird specials. But here's what I will tell you, okay, as we're busy working on operation initiatives, right, busy working on sales initiatives, right, well, guess what? This conference initiative is a project that's already been underway for weeks. In fact, I can say for months. 
Our team has been researching. Our team has de been developing the most epic experience of your life, okay? You are not going to want to miss this because not only is it the typical conference that some of you have experienced, so you kind of know, wow, this can take my life to the next level, but it's also designed around an experience. It's designed around lifestyle. So for the rubies and above, this is going to absolutely take your business and your life to the next level because we're going to show you how we do things here at Wakana and how we treat our leaders, how we love our leaders, how we want to make sure that everything we do is in honor and service of them. And so all of the rubies, all of the emeralds, if you are sapphire, if you're aiming to be sapphire, you're going to want to be at that level at least by the time we hit the ground running in April because there's going to be so many things that happen surrounding the sapphires at that event. We will kick off for those of you who are already starting to maybe book vacation time. You know, maybe you need to check in with your boss. Well, that Thursday will be the kickoff of the conference. And that Thursday is April the 20th. So we will kick off on National Weed Day, our anniversary. And we have secured a breathtaking venue that will absolutely blow your mind. I mean, we are just elated. We were able to secure this property. I'm telling you what, this is going to be the place you're going to want to get your guests in front of because you're going to see that it's going to set the tone for the conference. That's going to happen on Thursday. On Friday and Saturday, those are events geared towards education, learning, inspiring. We have a big gala that we're super excited about. That's going to help. But on Saturday, everyone's going to have an opportunity to get a ticket to the gala. And for the rubies and emeralds, for those of you who are getting um, treated to this amazing experience, you're going to actually stay all the way through Monday. And we have put together so many spectacular things from private chefs to special experiences that are unique to Las Vegas. I'm telling you what. This will be the event, right, that you're going to look back and say was the catalyst that sparked your business and helped you to set those roots for Five Star Diamond and beyond. Because we're going to have a lot of fun, but we're going to take things to that next level. And so with that being said, again, there's a lot going on. I wanted to just share a little bit of insight as far as what's going on this weekend and also paint the vision for what's to come with the conference. I know next Saturday you have so much going on, Phyllis, and I'm sure this will be a great time to talk about the Super Saturday and all these super leaders that are tuning in virtually. Some of them I hear are flying here to Chicago, so all roads lead to Chicago, Illinois, this coming Saturday or in your major city. So with that said, Phyllis, why don't you share a little bit about what's going on and how you guys put together this spectacular Super Saturday. Awesome, Melissa. Yes, the design and marketing team are working on those flyers. But guys, just let your people know. Don't let that stop you because we are having our first Super Saturday. I was looking at pictures, Melissa, from the one we had here in Chicago when we first introduced Coach Dan. Yes, it's going to be phenomenal. Yes, this is industry a norm where you come together and have presentations and we're doing it big time. We're doing it across the country. Yes, we're here in Chicago. And what's going to happen in Super Saturday, you're going to have a presentation that you're able to invite your guests. There's never an opportunity. We're not, we're not always presenting and sharing our business. You're going to have time to circle up and get overcome any objections, get their questions answered and get them signed up. Then the leaders in that area, wherever you are attending a, so, a Super Saturday, Saturday, you're going to do a training and it's going to go into the afternoon. You'll have um, things that we all need because we have so many brand new people on board. We'll have doing the sales academy training, finding out where uh, your CV is, how to sign up a customer, how to sign up a distributor, how to switch them from a customer to a distributor. Then we'll have um, 
your daily methods of operation, money making activities. What are they, guys? You know, how important is learning your system? This is going to go on all over the country. And then we're going to have a special guest in, uh, flying in. Jarvis, one of our newest Emeralds, newest, one of our new uh, newest distributors, but also hit Emerald in these last uh, five, uh, maybe not even five weeks he's been in this company, but he and his team um, have done some great things and rank advancing, but he's going to be talking about the uh, the industry of LM, uh, lot, who I can't even talk, multi-level marketing, social selling, the things that the industry, people that are making those five and six figures a month, what they do to get it. And guess who, guys, all of you listening to my voice right now are those people that could be earning those five and six figure incomes a month. I didn't say a year, a month. A year is good too. But those are some of the things you're going to learn. And hey, what better time to have your tax? Our CFO will be speaking about the benefits of a home-based business. So yes, it's still uh, not too late for people that have not yet become a part of Wakana to be able to have some write-offs because they've been looking at us, research and development, I know, for a few uh, months already. So hey, you can close that um, year out with having your own home-based business. So the markets will be in other than Chicago, will be two places in Maryland, um, and that's going to be ha headed up by B. Foster out of Upper Marlboro and Zachary and Troy um, out of I don't know their suburb, but all of this will be given to you guys before time. We'll let you know tomorrow. I'll have those places and names tomorrow morning, and hopefully the flyer will be there. But then we're going to go to New Diamond, Bernadine Kirkland in the Boston area. We're going to fly right on over to Texas, and we're going to be hosted by Dr. Roz in Houston and, and Gigi and her team in Dallas. And then we're going to fly on down to Louisiana and Dr. Kim and her team are going to be presenting. So guys, you got things happening all over the country. And I hear that the uh, South Bend, Indiana and the Indianapolis team is driving into Chicago. We have Stephanie Lee out in Arizona. It's called a place called Anthem, Arizona. So yes, you're right. And if you are having something in your area, guys, it doesn't take, it's a, only a start. One or more gathered. What happens? You know what happens. And so if your area is small, we ask you that you can host something just because these are going to become the norm. This is how we build. This is how we take it to $10 million a year and above, guys. And so we're starting now and we have the leadership that can absolutely make it happen. And so again, for uh, uh, the leaders in those areas will speak on uh, train on those topics. But by the end, you're going to all tune in and uh, hear Javaris and our CFO. And of course, it would not be a Wakana gathering without our own uh, trainers, VP of training, uh, Coach Dan, to close us out. And so guys, Tara, uh, email me, I mean, text me while we were on the phone. And I know there's some names we might miss, but I would not, I would be remiss if we didn't thank uh, Joseph Sanford and Anthony Morris for all that you're doing and continuing to do to get this wonderful um, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and everything that happened in between out to all of the distributors and customers. So with that being said, back to you, Melissa. Wow, Phyllis. And you know what? As you're talking about thanking more people, you know, it's funny, Anthony Morris, he's actually headed to the office, okay? <laughs> He was like one of the other reindeers. We had, I said the reindeers came, some of them actually dressed like reindeers. And that's how we felt. Because a lot of times people look at us and they think, you know, again, there's a machine behind us, guys. There's a boatload of people, whether it's staff members like Tara, just pitching in, helping, whether it's people like Anthony Morris, who goes way beyond the call of duty, okay? We, again, are just elated and thankful. And you too, Joseph. Many of our volunteers, actually, some who may have not participated this weekend, but you're there for us every day, every week. And so just, again, so much gratitude. 
And speaking of gratitude, my goodness, you guys might have mentioned it at the beginning as we were trying to get on the line. You know, it's amazing. You always got to get in. Sometimes the line is it's hard to get in. Sometimes you can't even get in if you don't get in at the right time. But we had the soul massage yes, and the yes. amazing blue soul experience on Friday. Mm-hmm. And that raised the roof. It raised our frequency. I know it energized us. I know it's a part of how we got through this weekend, Phyllis. I mean, I saw you and (laughs) Sylvia pushing and pushing. I mean, this team was team no sleep, but you really did it for the love, the passion you feel for the business, for the company, but for every distributor who fights for us, just know you give us one step, we're going to work our best to give you 10, okay? Because that's how we care. And that event Friday set the pace. It set the pace for the weekend. It It energized our mind our body. So Latrice Levitt, girl, I know you are out there. Shannon King, thank you so much. You also came in this weekend oh you know, as our VP of marketing, but guess what? She was there. She said, Let me roll up my sleeves and do whatever it took. So we were just grateful to have, again, so many people come through. And if you think of someone before we hang up, I have, I have, right. I have, I, have, I got to tell you, and yes, you're right, Latrice Levitt, that was, that set the pace for what we were able to do Saturday and Sunday and up until today. And I'll be there tonight because I can't see, let you all down. But uh, yes, that just set the pace. Latrice was phenomenal. And she just said that that the Soul Massages playlist would be available. Let me get it right, y'all. Let me get it right. Um, And I don't even know. A new me in 23.com, right? Yes, yes, (laughs) ma'am. It was a new me in 2023.com. Yeah, it's an exciting playlist from Friday. And that was just something different for us, right? We've never experienced anything like that, guys. Look, look, we had hip hop, (laughs) we had rap, we had hip hop, we had stepping, and we closed it out with uh, the Lord, girl. I mean, we were on fire on Friday night and on Saturday. So it was phenomenal. And guys, I would be remiss if I didn't mention my sister in South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina, Kathy Webersby will also be doing a Super Saturday. How could I ever forget my Kathy? <sighs> she made so many things happen. So I think we might have covered, but guys, if we didn't cover everything, we truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Words cannot even say that what you all do, and I just was thinking about, we created some more good memories, even though we were up all night and you and Christian been there 48 hours straight, we still have memories that we created just by being together, coming together, having one goal at the end of this and just working tirelessly together. So thank you. And back to you. I You don't have to give it back to me. Back to you, girl. Wow, wow, wow. Well, with that said, Phyllis, I mean, you just summed it up and you're right. It's the fellowship. And I know that's what's going to really drive momentum because we've been doing a lot of this virtually, but just the connection, being together, laughing, and we have a good time. I mean, we work hard, guys, but we play hard. We have a great time. We love each other. And that's what it's about. It's about empowering each other and helping Mm -hmm. each person take that life to the next level. And that's what you're going to get at our conference in Vegas. I just know together, Phyllis, we're probably going to be up to three in the morning, four in the morning, masterminding, because that's what it's about. (laughs) We're not going to be sleeping. Between all that eating, Christian, and and the uh, the events that we're going to have and the other memories we're going to create, who's going to be able to sleep? Nobody. Right. In the mastermind sessions, I can just see right now, Willie Mooney, right? Jabari is right. I've been talking about that five-star diamond. I can see Beverly just kind of interjecting and happy birthday, Beverly. We yes, heard that we missed birthday. your party yesterday, but we were in no, um, we, we, we weren't in pre- presentation mode. Right? So we were like, we better not go. Kristen was like, maybe we should take Beverly out to dinner. So Beverly, we owe you a dinner and we'll celebrate you as our um, first diamond Love you so much and just a phenomenal team. So, guys, with that said, I guess it's a wrap. So, it's a wrap we're going <laughs> to see you. Often. Often. I don't do that often. I'm <laughs> and get some sleep, Phyllis. You need to get some sleep. Um, well, let's rejuvenate if you can, right? Let's oh, get at least an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. But we're going to see you guys at the top. 
at the very top, at the tip top, because yes, you've heard it here on this line. This time, we are breaking through the top. Have a phenomenal day, guys. Have a Wakanda day. Thank you. Bye-bye for now. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Love you guys.